Men, what do you hate about other men? I hate the guys who drink and try to fight everybody, including their own friends. If everyone could stop pissing on the floor in front of the urinals that would be effing great. When my roommate walks around the house with his balls hanging out of his pajamas to establish dominance. When guys comment on girls' Facebook pictures with idiotic crap like wow sexy, hey beautiful. And other things that reek of desperation. Come on guys, flinching just means flinching. Stop lunging at me from 5 inches away, it doesn't actually mean anything except that you're in a hole. I hate how some guys turn around and look me in the eye when I'm about to finish. Men who constantly bash their entire gender to try and impress women with how different they are. If you're trying to be not like other men to get laid you are exactly like other men. Not being a total douche isn't down kind of valiant rebellion against your darker nature and society's expectations, it's just being a decent person and most of us pull it off without constantly having to remind everyone how much worse we could act. I hate the guys that are so judgmental about how attractive women look, yet they themselves are ugly motherfuckers. There are no hot chicks around here. Where are they all at? You shut the f up you ain't a jalapeno yourself dicks not. Men that treat their girlfriends wives like shit just because they can, and they know they are not gonna leave them. I am not talking about straight domestic abuse, but just being a effing jerk. I mean, sometimes couples can fight and have a bad day, I have seen guys straight humiliating and pushing their partners like they were petty subordinates, instead of a lover and a friend. Everything is a dick measuring contest that a lot of them can grow a full beard without childish, visible patches. Trust me man, not everyone wants your girlfriend, calm down killer. Guys who hate their wives. They act like it's normal to hate being married or something, but it sounds miserable. My wife is my best friend. I can't imagine it any other way. Cute little sneezes, snoring, and sounds they make sometimes. Even breathing can seem cute. I'm not sure if this is common with other guys, but some guys, whom you've never met, who you just pass on the street, will look at you like they want an excuse to beat the shit out of you. Maybe that rage they have for their boss, their stepfather, whatever is suddenly and potentially me. I think most women would be shocked to know how many guys walk around with real rage issues ready to become unhinged at the first slight to their machismo. The importance we place on sexual conquest and sexual boasting in general. You don't need to constantly remind us of that one time you convinced someone to touch your dick. I hate when I'm getting my handsome on and some other mother fer comes and oathens me. I hate how other straight men automatically assume a gay person is hitting on them whenever the gay speaks to them. Like, no, you're not that attractive, Mark. Gays don't think oh, I want to f the she out of that guy every time they see another male. Their deep voices make me sound like a squeaker. You've had a dick for your entire life, sit down if you cannot aim your piss. I hate how the most confident guys are often the meanest. There are plenty of exceptions to this, but it happens too much. When they send dick pics to girls out of nowhere. It makes us all look bad. The ones that cat call. This is why I hate going to the bar with my friend. Just this weekend at 1 p.m. at a local packed bar he decided to practically yell look at the ass on her then just stared at her. I asked him to shut the f up but he stated out loud it makes all the other girls jealous. Needless to say we didn't talk to any girls the whole time we were there. I can't stand the guys that think every single woman on the planet wants them. I can't stand the guys that only ever talk about getting laid, and you're a bitch and if you don't join in. I can't stand the guys that need to fight another guy for every little incredibly minor issue. Dudes that wear tap out shirts and fedoras and say bro a lot. Guys can't seriously talk about anything that bothers them. Holding everything in emotionally can be a pain. Most of what I hate about men is what I also hate about a lot of women. That alpha competitive shit everyone keeps harping is not completely gender neutral. I don't like the whole alpha male thing where guys tend to try to top each other. I've done it a few times without thinking and I cringed afterwards every time. 
I hate that we aren't as up in arms about the difficulties facing boys and young men as women are about the difficulties facing girls and young women. I'm consistently impressed by all the women-driven efforts to extend opportunities and support to girls. I'd like to see men tend to their young ranks with equal zeal. I'll concede the challenges are much different, and that on balance it is harder to be a female in this world. However, it is getting better for women all the time. I honestly don't think the world is getting better for young men. It is more confusing. It is less understanding of traditional forms of masculine projection. Traditional male roles are being torn down, probably for the better, but that doesn't leave young men with much in the way of role models. Nobody is going to stick up for boys if not grown men. Boys need support. They need guidance. They need to be challenged. Or else they grow up into selfish, lazy pigs. So, grown men, let's step up our game. Let's get more involved. You don't need to have a son to help raise a man. Guys who treat women like some alien species incapable of being understood or dealt with rationally. Guys, they are just people, and more like you than they are different. Just talk to them, take a chance if you are interested, or treat them like you would any other random mother fer if you ain't. Power handshakes. We're exchanging a polite greeting and some blokes seem to think if you squeeze the f out of my hand I'll respect you for it. No, you're a wanker who believed a management textbook about establishing dominance. In fact, it makes you come across as someone who's trying too hard. The whole idea that male friends have to constantly put each other down as a form of bonding. There's something to be said for being able to take a joke and to laugh at yourself, but it seems like every time you get at least four guys together one of them becomes convinced he's Don F. in Rickles. I'm not great at joining in on conversation like damn she is so hot or yeah I'd let her do X to my Y. It makes me a bit uncomfortable, so I guess I don't like that. Real men don't put ketchup on a hot dog. No, real men put whatever the F they want on anything. Slut shaming. I do not get it. Don't we want women to bang us? Should we not exalt the slutty ones so that their peers may look to them as examples? I don't know. I just feel like we're working against ourselves sometimes. One white nights. Two overly alpha behavior. Three guys who whine about the friend zone. Four bad boys. As a gay man I hate seeing how easily manipulated straight men are by attractive women. Sometimes I feel like I'm wearing the glasses from they live when I see women being manipulative. It's a way I often instantly lose respect from for someone. I don't effing care about your gadam car shut the f up. Nice guys. There's difference between being a good man and the manipulating weasels I see posing as good man. Busting balls. The Joe Pesci I'm funny how, I mean funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you? I make you laugh, I'm here to effing amuse you? What do you mean funny, funny how? How am I funny, seen as a classic in the genre. I know you're just effing with me but it's still irritating and I never know how to react. I can't stand it when men mistake kindness for flirting. No she he does not want your dick in their mouth just because they said hello. The comments in here. Y'all mother f-e-r-s need to man up, ditch your idiot friends and find some effing grown ups to hang out with. The whole alpha male thing where some dudes constantly try to start shit. Just because I don't go around looking for fights doesn't mean I won't kick you in the nuts. Alpha man doesn't need to fight. Alpha man already has what he wants. No need to fight. Alpha man happy and benevolent. Alpha man give you an apple. That a bunch of you creeped out all the women and it makes them getting to trust you harder. You bunch of F faces. This can apply to me as well. I hate how guys get super pissed when talking to their girl. Like they talk shit and say how much they're gonna beat your ass. When it can all be avoided with a simple and honest my bad, didn't know. Not a male but, I know they hate this. Straight man, damn that pussy oh man look at them effing tits. I would f her so hard f gay man, damn that man was so hot I do f him. Star eyed man, you don't need to announce your sexuality to the world. It makes people uncomfortable. Bullying. 
It doesn't stop in high school. It escalates. And the victims are often children, women, the elderly, the poor, or anyone who can't fight back. As a gay man, I hate how a lot of guys think that coming is the only purpose of sex and refuse to become decent at or at least try other things like foreplay. Macho insecurity, general misogyny, not much fun to look at. I effing hate men that wolf whistle at women or yell at them from a moving car. Hate is a strong word, but I find certain characteristics or actions of some men annoying or infuriating. Belittling others, treating women like shit, creeping, always needing to be right. Those are a few. A lot of men will not care if a girl is in a committed relationship. They will still just try to get in bed with these girls. It's disgusting and heartbreaking. Just because you see a pretty girl, it does not give you right to harass her. It's so easy to think with your boner, but man up show some respect. As a gay guy, I hate the sexual insecurity and subsequent homophobia of a lot of men. Yes, I may find you attractive and yes, sex with you would be great, but just because you hear that I'm into you doesn't mean I'm going to make a move on you or harass you. I've been blocked on social media by a lot of guys this year because they hear that I think they're hot. It's also really frustrating that I can't have other guy friends who don't talk about sports or women all the time. If you can't find anything to talk about other than sports and banging girls, your life must be very boring. The fact that some men take pride in taking advantage of women for sex. I'm not talking about rape or anything like that. I'm talking about saying lies and toying with their emotions just to get some. My roommate freshman year of college did this all the time, constantly bragging about how he got a girl to sleep with him by telling her how beautiful she was and how they should exchange numbers to hang out the next day. Never called thems didn't keep their number or even remember their names. When they won't kiss me during sex. Don't just bury your face in my neck, my face wants some attention. The obsession with sports. Don't get me wrong, I love sports, am currently watching NHL playoffs, but to the point where all they live, eat, and breathe sports is just ridiculous. The fact that anything that's men only bathrooms, locker room, whatever smells like a decomposing fish. Then you walk by the women's equivalent and get hit by a wall of flowers and fruits and potpourri. We as a group might not smell great. Guys who put the pussy on a pedestal. Just do you, don't be a little bitch. I feel like half the people in this thread answering the questions are women. Oh gross, man, she's having her period. Oh gross, man, she's giving birth. Jesus Christ you sound like effing fifth graders.